Kitchen. Well, hello. How do you do? <laughs> Professor. Oh, it's you, dear boy. Come in, come in, and shut the door. <sighs> What's going on? You leaving? Yes, sir. Yes, I am, sir. You know, you know the thing, the thing that is vital, without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir. No, I don't. I'm not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I'm not cut out for this. No, I'm not cut out for this at all. <laughs> nope. They're fucking savages. Savages. I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm a professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Where's my tincture? Oh, yes. You okay, Professor? Oh, dandy, sir. Just dandy. Oh, great heavens above! Is that you, John? Hello, Dutch. <laughs> I think that's what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the professor? We're going to kill the both of you. Why you want to do a thing like that? I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their families. Well, that, that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boys here, they already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves, John. <laughs> we're fighting for something a, a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea. Not just for ourselves. That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you kindly send that academic out here so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology? Please, sir, what are we going to do? I'm going to hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? I'm just kidding. We're going to run across the rooftops. Get you back to your ivory tower. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Don't thank me. We're still here. Come on. Good day, sir. Uh, madam. Look here, sir. What is the meaning of this, this outrage? You two stay down and shut up. Come on. We can get to the roof this way. Do something! He's going to kill me! One more move! And he's a dead man! Come on now! Stop that! What do we do now? They've got us pinned down on both sides! Where the teacher gets it! Onward! <laughs> <laughs> 
told you took your sweet time! I can't wait to scalp you. Christ oh, alive, how many are there? Oh, We're completely surrounded! That's most of them. The coast looks clear. Come on, then! Let's make a break for it! The horses should be in an alleyway down here! Never in all my days! Come on! Right! To the station! I'm not staying in this place a minute longer! This really couldn't have gone more horribly wrong! At least you got some good material for your next book! You know, I dreamt of documenting the last days of the Old West! The romance, the honor, the nobility! But it turns out it's just people killing each other! It always was, Professor! And the Old West ain't quite dead yet. Oh, I know, Mr. Marston. Believe me, I know. Please, I'll leave and never come back. Oh, my God, there's more of them. Educated in boarding schools, and what good has it done? Their land was taken from them. Land they'd lived on for hundreds of years. Yes, for their own good. To turn them into productive farmers. They were given religion, but they still worship their own gods. They were taught. Hurry! There's more of them! You're making a big mistake, friend! What are you going to do now? Get as far away from here as humanly possible. Back to where people eat with knives and forks and don't spend every second of the day trying to kill each other. You going back to Yale? Here we are. Finally. A one-way ticket to civilization, please. Ah, my research is complete. Much as I thought. There's no civilizing this savage land. I could have told you that for nothing. Ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. <laughs> well, they bloody better. Well, goodbye, Mr. Marston. Best of luck, dear friend. So long, Professor. So long, sir. <laughs> 